WA taxpayers are likely to fork out millions after the government admitted the opening of our new Fiona Stanley Hospital will be delayed. Here's state political reporter Josh Yerger. At $2 billion, Fiona Stanley is one of the Health Minister's most prized projects. But today, a well-protected minister handed down a poor prognosis. It will no longer be fully up and running by April next year, as Dr Hames had promised. As I said at the end of the day, it's my responsibility. Uh, could I have made it happen faster? Could I have made it happen in April? It is possible. I'm happy to wear that. Instead, most patients will have to wait until March 2015. Workers are still busy on site, but the delay is not their fault. It's problems with the hospital's complex IT system. I'm not going to allow a patient to come into this institution until we're absolutely sure that all is safe for that patient. The delay also affects the $4 billion contract with private company Serco to run the hospital's non-clinical services, which was set to start in April. The Health Minister says he has no idea how much the delay will cost taxpayers, but says it could run into the millions. Not good news for a government which is struggling to keep the budget in surplus. Mr Hames and Mr Barnett drove the privatisation outsourcing of this hospital. They are fully and absolutely accountable. Dr Hames also announced he will retire at the next election. In the meantime, Labor want him to resign as Health Minister or give up his tourism portfolio. I think I'm doing it fine. Tourism stuff tends to be after hours, whereas health tends to be mainly stuff uh, during the week. Josh Yerger, Nine News.